All right, y'all. More those of fire. More those are must cop. More that's the shoe of the year. All that talk, right? So there is a buzz behind this shoe, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm curious to know, is it gonna end up like these, 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 these? What? Well, not these, <laughs> wrong shoe, but y'all get the point I'm trying to make. Will these end up on shelves? I think they are, but hey, let me check them out and give y'all my honest opinion on them, man. Make sure y'all tune in, watch the full video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to it, man. YouTube family. Man, what is going on with y'all, man? We are back. It's the top of the week and we are early. Normally I hit y'all with a this weekend sneaks. I might hit y'all with that tomorrow and I gotta mix it in with some probably because it's a slow week. But early's must come in and um, early's must be shown, man. So today I do have a shoe that is set to be releasing April 13th, y'all. We're probably almost, almost, you know what I'm saying? A month out, I mean. Two and a half weeks, two and a half weeks, because we are wrapping up the month of March right now, y'all. So this shoe is releasing on April 13th. 210 is the price tag on these, y'all. Before we get into that, if this is your first time stopping through rocking out with your boy Jay, man, look, a lot of y'all have been slowing down on hitting that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? I need y'all to, to run it up, man. If this is your first time, second time, or any time that you have watched but you have yet to hit that subscribe button, man, make that happen for your boy Jay today, man. Hit that subscribe button. Join the family, y'all. We are still on that road, that race to 200K. And um, all that y'all do for your boy Jay never goes unnoticed. I truly appreciate all that y'all do, man. Keep keeping them comments coming in, y'all. Keep them rolling in. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this shoe. I want to know if y'all think that this shoe is going to sit. Is it going to sell out? Or are you one of those who feel like this is this is that shoe? Because a lot of people are like, bro, those go crazy. You know what I'm saying? So are you one of those? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this shoe. But outside of that, we can go ahead and check them out, man. Without any further ado. Woo! We got it right here, man. Bang! As you can see, it does come in a Jordan 5 style box, or maybe 6s can look like this, but Jordan 5 is what we're gonna call it because this is a Jordan 5, y'all. As you can see, it does have like a cream, a cream sale type look to it. You got a black jump, man, and it does say Air Jordan Flight Club right there on the center of it, y'all. So that's what you have right there on the box content. Taking a look at the size tag, it does read Air Jordan 5 Retro SE. Color blocking is cell, black, light, or wood brown. What? I haven't seen these shoes yet in hand. This is going to be my honest first time looking at them. I took them straight out of the box they came in and I have them right here before your eyes. You know what I'm saying? So this is gonna be my initial just first thoughts. Like I wanna give y'all my raw reaction on these. So popping open the box, First thing that I am greeted with y'all, you do got a, a QC sticker, I want to say that is, man. So you got that little sticker right there on the top of the box lid. In the back, you got that white and green sticker, you can barely see it, but there's a white and green sticker right there on the inside of the box. Cement paper, and it is time for the moment of truth, y'all. So the shoes that we do have right here is the Jordan 5 Sales. The Sale Black, the SEs. That's what we gonna call them, but here they go, y'all. Y'all let me know what they looking on. Bang! Okay, okay. Hey. Hey, y'all. I'm not the biggest fan of fives, y'all. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I'm not the biggest fan of fives, but... They clean, y'all. They... That, okay, and it does come with, real quick, y'all, I gotta show y'all all the details, man. Retail, pairs, man. Y'all know we, we give retail details over here, so when you do get your shoes, y'all, it will come with the cardboard slit right there. It comes with a cardboard slit to separate both shoes, y'all, so make sure if you're copping them early or any time that you were copping them, you got that, unless somebody took it out. So question them, where is your cardboard slit if you're getting them early? So that's just a real quick thing for y'all, but these right here, y'all, on the Jordan 5 sales, which is releasing in April. Man, yo, we got, ooh, ooh <laughs> decent. Very decent, y'all, very decent. But we got a big month coming up, y'all, man. The next two months is gonna be, bro, it's gonna be, whew, it's gonna be killer, man. I don't, I don't know where Nike feels like people are getting all this money from, y'all, because they are dropping heat after heat, but it's a good thing, y'all, because 
I feel like by them dropping so much that they've been dropping, y'all, it is helping keep these resale prices down, y'all, because it is just so much, man. So we get a lot of good options to kind of choose from. And, and if we do miss out on them, unless we missing out on like trophy rooms or something, we're still able to obtain them for a fair price. But outside of that little speech, man, the Jordan 5 sales, y'all, I like them, bro. Bang, y'all. So here we have them, y'all. The Jordan 5 sales set to be releasing on April 13th. Retail will be $210 on these, y'all. And these, these, y'all, I spoke with my people out in Chicago. Spoke with a couple people out in California, man, because I got I got plugs out in both those areas. And um, also, of course, in my local area, of course, of it, Atlanta and all that stuff, those little areas, man. Um, These are limited, y'all. These are limited, y'all. I'm hearing stores that normally get like 150, 300 pairs of, of uh, in particular shoe. They only have like 30 to 40 pairs of these, y'all. So if that says anything, I mean, maybe they might be waiting on more stock. But as of right now, y'all, it's looking like these might be on the limited side, y'all. And I can I can see it. Like as far as like looking at this shoe, man, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a bad move for them to kind of keep a shoe that looks like this on the limited side, man, because it does have a special look to it, man. So real quick, man, it does have a soft. It is almost the same type of color, y'all. I kind of want to compare it to the DJ Khaled 5s, which I got to bring out, man. When I say that, I mean the color. Like, you know, we do got, of course, the Crimson Bliss, which is the all-over pinkish type of color. Then you got the second colorway, which is like a a gray, a form of gray. Let me grab that shoe so I can compare it and give y'all an accurate assessment of what I mean as far as the color of the shoe, y'all. Bang, y'all. So here we have them, y'all. We do have the sale pair of the DJ Khaled, we the best shoes, and we do got the Jordan 5 sales, and um, I'm picking Jordan 5 sales over the Khaled's all day, man. These are, these are clean, y'all. This is a clean pair of Jordan 5's right here, but take a look at them real quick. I just wanted to compare the colors of the shoe, that same type of tone of gray. I was trying to get y'all to see. It is slightly a darker hue on the Jordan 5 DJ Khaled's, but it is a very similar colorway that you do have on both those Jordan 5s, y'all. So just had to bring these out to kind of compare them and let y'all see what I was saying as far as when it comes to the colorway of the Jordan 5 sales. But yeah, man, DJ Khaled 5's solid yeah. shoe. Don't know why they didn't get that much love, but these right here, y'all, clean, clean pair of Jordan 5s, y'all. I'm not mad at these at all, y'all. I'm not going to like cap. I was not intending on keeping this pair, y'all. It is my size. I did pull my size out because I like to review my size, but I'm going to hold on to these, y'all. I'm definitely gonna hold on to these because I like what they did with them. Of course, it does not have the bulky Jordan 5 tongue that we normally get that a lot of people despise of, you know what I'm saying? We got the slim and exposed, the slim and exposed, kind of like the Jordan 5 off-white type of tongue, y'all. These are these are cold, man. I love how that looks. Look at the black interior with, of course, the exposed tongue right there on the inside. Outsole, you see that nice cream, milky outsole, man. Look, these are sale Jordan 5s. However, I can just look at this and tell this outsole will definitely age and get more of a darker tint of a yellow, like an aging yellow on it. But, but, you can preserve that, y'all. You can preserve that. One thing I'm going to definitely do with these, I'm going to definitely throw these into my Capsule sneaker preserver bags, y'all. Bang! Yes, sir, man. Shout out to Capsules, man. I got to keep one handy on deck, y'all. I ain't going to hold y'all. I've been throwing my grails into these Capsule bags, but I think this will be the perfect shoe to use this product on because it is just, it is so clean. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep that cage icy for as long as I can. And I want to keep, of course, the outsoles looking, you know, maybe this slight age for as long as I can. Man. And the only way to do that is with Capsoles Sneaker Preservers, y'all. Capsoles is a product that is 100% lab tested. It is known and it does 100% work with preserving your shoes up to two times longer than its original box. If you leave these in a box or a drop front case or anything, this right here will preserve it two times better and it'll last way longer by just throwing it in here man let me show y'all this product real quick so the capsule preservers does come in a cylinder as you can see just like this y'all it does come with a 
a coarse capsule preserver on the inside and there will be other things in here that will help you make your preserving successful y'all i'm gonna walk y'all through it real quick y'all so the bags that they do come with do look like this and it is perfect for not only storing your shoes and keeping them preserved it does work good for traveling, man. You can throw this inside your briefcase or whatever you have and walk around with it, man. Definitely a great, great product. You see this right here, y'all? Real quick, take a look at the video, how simple the process is on preserving your shoes. All you gotta do is have a pair of shoes, you put them in that bag, you pump them up with that air from the cartridge that they do provide, and then you let out the air so that they can't have nothing but that moisturized air inside of it. Then you simply zip it up and it is stored, y'all. And that right there, that simple process will have your shoes lasting longer than it would normally if it was inside of a shoe box or a shoe container however other way you want to start man if you guys know your boy jay i've been big on using ziploc bags that thing is a thing of the past y'all I'm, I'm moving on to these y'all because these are like i said lab tested man so hey i spent a lot of money on shoes i gotta make sure my shoes are preserved the best way possible man so check out capsules i have a link for them down below in the description and um for those of you who asked me about them if you guys caught them or anything comment down below how easy the process was for you to go ahead and store your shoes and if it has come in handy i want to know your feedback down below in the comment section but if you haven't used it yet man trust me jump on it it is lab tested man preserve those shoes if you spend that money on it man keep them things preserved for as long as you can man and i do have the promo code promo code is j20 y'all jay -A -Y 20 that is the promo code it will save you some bread off of your capsule sneaker preservers man so hey definitely don't sleep on this one like i said y'all this is proven to work it has been recommended by z sneakerheads sneaker kind other big companies y'all because it definitely works man so check out capsules today and you will not regret storing them grails man but yes outside of that man we done talked about how we can keep these things looking crispy much longer man but yeah these are cold man uh, i love what they did as far as with the little touches of black on it you got the black speckles right there around the shark teeth on the bottom y'all and it does come with some cell laces man some soft cell cream laces i think that these they 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 yeah they did their thing with these, man. It's just a very clean looking Air Jordan 5, y'all. I'm definitely going to show y'all these on feet. We're going to throw them on and we got to swap them out, man. I think some black laces are going to go crazy in these. It's definitely going to pop. We can actually experiment with them, get an idea of how some black laces would look, right? It's only right. So let's let's see what it would look like. All right, y'all. All right. So I got a black lace laid on top of it. Them black laces is going to pop, bro. When I throw the black laces in here, it is going to bring out the little black hits on the shoe. I love when it's just a little detail of a certain color on a shoe where you can throw some laces in there and bring out that whole entire color. I think that black is going to pop well. Like, that black going to go crazy in these, man. But uh, that is what's going to happen. But um, yes, man, um, canvas, y'all. We got canvas on the tongue. I didn't even talk about that. I talked about the exposure, but not the canvas hits on it, man. So you got a canvas hit on these. Bro, these are solid, bro. These are, I, I like these a lot. I like these a lot. So, um, I guess I can fall into that group of one of them people that was like, yo, those are fire. That might be, I'm not going to say sneak of the year or nothing like that, but it is up there, y'all. It, it is, this is a fire Jordan 5, man. What Jordan 5s have we had released this year? Um, I like these over Olive 5s. I'm going to put it like that. I like these over the Olive 5s, man. That's just me, man. Y'all comment down below. What are your thoughts? Is it me? I, I'm just noticing it, y'all. That tongue does sit kind of high. Like I said, man, is that is that the off-white? Yeah, this is not a normal Jordan 5 height. It is higher, you know what I'm saying? Like, they definitely gave us that long tongue. Whoa. No diddy. <laughs> I guess that's a new saying, right? Got but yeah, it. they gave us the long uh, tongue on these joints, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is, yeah, I mean, something new, you know? But I definitely dig these shoes, man. Y'all comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on these. Like I said, I can see those side cages getting dirty quick, man. I can see them aging quick, y'all. So definitely check out Capsules. Preserve these types of shoes and other grails you have in your collection, man. And you can save money by doing it with my promo code J20, y'all. But no extra laces, right? Let me double check, man. Let me double check they ain't give us no black laces tonight because normally on Jordan 5s, we won't have to look on the inside. They would normally put like a lace bag on Jordan 5s. But no, y'all, there is no extra laces with these, man. But nope. comment down below, man. What are your thoughts on the Jordan 5 sale at C's releasing April 13th? Will these be in a full family size run? 
I don't know. We're going to have to revisit these and um give y'all some more details on them. But they could have gave us a Nike. I know I preach it every time we don't get it. But they could have gave us a Nike Air on the back of these. This is a special edition. It is a, you know, it's a... And I'm surprised they didn't call these crafts. These look like they can get away with being a craft, you know what I'm saying? But, yo, man, Nike Air would've went stupid in black, bro. A black Nike Air on the back would've went crazy. But, yo, y'all comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the Jordan 5 sales, y'all. And, um, is it a cop? Is it a pass? What are y'all doing with these, man? But, um, I'm copping them. I'm holding on to these. And, yeah, that's my final decision because they are actually very, very clean in hand. But, like I told y'all earlier, don't expect for these to be that plentiful. And when I say that, don't, don't try to go out the way to run and get them because... Jordan 9 Powder Blues, who, who, I mean, some of y'all did tell me that they were going to sit, but I had no, no, like, no chances in my head of thinking that those were going to be sitting, but hey, it is what it is, man. We had different times, so don't jump the gun to try to go out there and spend any crazy price or think that you're in any situation on getting them. Just know that I don't think that they'll be that plentiful, you know what I'm saying? So I just got to give y'all that info based upon what I know, and um, outside of that, that is it, the Jordan 5 SE sales. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Y'all stay blessed. I will be back at y'all tomorrow. And, um, yo, I'm about to, man. Y'all stay blessed.